Welcome to Center for Development of Coding. So in this uh, particular video, we will show you how to start developing simple Swing applications. So this is called as Word 1, Word 2, Word 3. There are three versions. Word 1 will show how to uh, implement the action listener interface in the same class. Then Word 2 will show how to use the inner class. Word 3 will show how to use the anonymous inner class. All these three versions will solve the same problem. So let us take a problem statement. Write a Java Swing program to accept a number between 0 and 9. When the submit button is pressed, the program should display the word equivalent of the number below the submit button. Implement the action listener interface in the class. So this is the problem statement. So let us look at the design. So this is how it looks. So we will have a number here and here the user will enter a number between 0 and 9. So now the user has entered 5 and there will be a submit button here. So whenever the submit button is pressed, if 5 is entered here, then we should get a display here as FIVE5. Suppose if the user enters 7 here, then we should get an output as SEVEN7 here. So that is our problem. So let us see what are the containers here and what are the components. So as we see here, so this is what is called as a label. So this is J label and this is also J label and this is J button and this is J text field. So one, two, three, four. There are four components in this particular program and all these four components are placed within a container. So this whole thing is a container. So we are using the J frame as a container. So J frame is a container and there are four components in this program. Out of that, this is a label, this is a label, this is a button and this is a text field. So let us see the naming conventions for these things. So for J label, we always start with LBL. And for J text field, we start with we start the naming convention with txt. And for J button, uh, J button, it is btn actually. J button, it should be btn submit. And J label again is lbl. So we have these names: lbl number, txt number, and uh, this should be btn submit and lbl result. So let us see how this uh, particular program looks like. So I have already solved this problem. So let us see this number, we have to enter a number between 0 and 9. So I will enter 5 and press submit. You see, I am getting the output as 5. So now I will change this to 7 and then submit 7. So this is what we should get. So this is a label, this is a label and this is a button. And this is a text field. Four components are placed within this container called as JFrame. So let us uh, develop this uh, program uh, from scratch. So let us start a class called as World1. World1.java So let us start package in dot c dot dot swing. So let us write a class public class world one. You should say extends J frame implements action listener. Action listener. So here J frame is a class and action listener is a interface. So let us import these two things. So let us import javax.swing.jframe and uh, let us import uh, action listener also. So we are still having an error because uh, action listener has a method called as uh, uh, action performed that we have to implement that method. That is why it is giving that error. So let us write a dummy implementation for that public void action 
perform action event ae open a bracket and close a bracket close a bracket so action event we have to import that uh, so don't import this java fx dot event dot action event we want actually java dot awt dot event dot action event action event so that we have uh, imported now that error is gone so first let us declare the four components that is uh, j label so let us make it as private because this is an object oriented programming so j label mbm number next private uh, j text field txt number next private j button btn submit next private j label one more label uh, lvl result please look at the naming conventions uh, label starts with lvl text field starts with txt button starts with btn and again label starts with lvl so let us import these components one by one so please uh, so g label So import Java X dot swing dot J label import it should be text to field T E X T text to field. So import text field import button. Okay. So we have just uh, declared these variables, but we have not yet created the objects, uh, uh, instances of these uh, uh, components. So first, let us write a constructor here. Write public name of the class that is word one. So first, let us uh, create instances of all these uh, components. That is uh, lbl number equal to new of new of j label number j label of number next bt next txt number equal to new of new of j j text field text field this 5 is the width next btn submit equal to new of j button submit submit next one more component that is lbl result equal to new of j label j label so this is empty at present so now what we have done is we have declared four components and we have created the instances of these four components and before this we have to add a layout that is called as set layout equal to l capital set layout equal to new of flow layout flow layout please refer to some other videos uh, on this uh, layouts there are different types of layouts so we are using a layout called as flow layout so let us import this flow layout java.awt.flow layout so next after this we have to we here we have created the instances of all these components next we have to add these components to the container so how to do that you just say add lbl number next add txt number in the same order add, add btn submit submit then add 
LBL result. So this we have added. And then uh, let us see set the title set title set title equal to word one implementing interface interface say set size equal to 400 comma 500 next thing is set default close operation operation j frame dot exit on close select it here only semicolon and say set visible equal to true so let us see now what happens let us run this program and check whether everything is correct or not so to do that we have to create a main method we, we have not yet done that so public public static void main string ergs ergs so let us create a an instance of this class called as word one word one word one equal to new of word one new of word one so there are no errors so let us see what happens <coughs> whether we will get a frame or not so we got a frame uh, so we are seeing a label here and this is a text field and this is a button and another one label is there that we are not able to see because that we have set it to uh, a null string so let us type in 4 here and let us press this submit so nothing happens because we have not written any code for this so let us close this and now uh, let us add an action listener so now for this button so btn submit dot add action listener this so what is the meaning of this so button submit is an instance of the <coughs> j button so whenever that button is pressed so we are telling that add action listener of this so that means you add an action listener and the implementation of action listener you can find in this class itself that is what is the meaning of this so please look at here see we have written here implements action listener so action listener is a listener interface which has got only one method called as action performed so here this indicates that implements action listener you can um, find out the implementation of that particular method called as uh, action performed in the same class that's what it means so that's the, that's the reason why we are writing here as this whenever we are solving the same problem using inner class and anonymous inner class this will change okay so now let us uh, implement this so here what we have to do we have to read the content of the uh, the text box and then convert that into an integer and then use a switch statement to display that one 1 two thre 3 depending upon the input so let us see how to do it so let us say string s is equal to txt number dot get text so i am reading the value of that so next converting this to an integer int n is equal to integer dot parse int of yes so i have converted that to an integer then i will use a switch statement tch switch n open a bracket close a bracket and then you have something like this case 0 case 0 so lbl result dot set text 0 0 0 and then break and then copy this so many times and go on changing this change this to 1 2 3 4 5 and also change these things one T 
6 3 more are required 7 8 9 so let us complete this 7 8 and then 9 here also change this one to 7 8 and then 9 so now we have given an implementation for this method called as action perform you can use an annotation here called as override override so this will uh, protect us from any mistakes mistakes so i think we can run this now and check what happens so let us check this so let us give an input of 3 so we are getting it 3 and then 6 here and then 6 like this so what is the meaning of this flow layout flow layout means suppose if we drag like this okay then what happens is you see these components will shrink to that side okay this is what is called as a flow layout so that means the components will flow inside the container so this is what it is so i'll close this i'll close this so let us i'll explain the program once again so please see here this is a class word word one extends jframe and implements action listener here we have declared the components four components that is one label one text field one button and one label and then next comes the constructor first we have set the layout to flow layout and then we have created the instance of the components and then we have added the components to the container and it should be in the same order first label number then text number if you change this order you will get different components in the at a different place so be careful when you are doing this then we have added the uh, action listener on this uh, submit button and then this is for uh, setting the title size set default close operation and set visible is equal to true and this is the action performed method so this method is available in the uh, action listener interface action listener is an interface so it has got only one method called as action performed and which takes a uh, parameter as action event so we need to implement this method so how we have implemented this we have first uh, taken what is the content of that uh, uh, text box that is text number dot get text it's coming to this string called as yes and then we have converted this uh, string to an integer by using this uh, integer dot parse int method and then we have used a switch statement case 0 lbl result dot set text is equal to 0 that means the lbl result is a component so on this component we are setting the text to 0 if 0 is entered in the text field and similarly we have written the code for 1 to 9 and then in the main method we have created an instance of a class called as word1 and this displays the jframe thank you for watching this video